An 11 year old Seminole County student was honored by firefighters today after he called 911 to help his grandmother who was having a medical emergency at home. Not only was he called a hero for his bravery, the dispatcher who helped him was honored too as part of Telecommunicators Week. News 6's Ezzy Castro is at the fire station with the story. Okay, Elijah, I'm sending the parents yeah. to help you. Just stay on the line and I'm going to tell you exactly what to do next. If she okay. has a prescribed inhaler, nebulizer for these attacks, tell her to use it again. Okay? I have to use your inhaler again. I mean, your nebulizer. That was the 911 call between 11 year old Elijah Alba and dispatcher Jen Moriarty after his grandma had a medical episode and couldn't breathe. And because of his quick thinking, paramedics were able to arrive within minutes of that call. I was just coming home from school and uh, like she was. She was having trouble breathing, mm -hmm. and I wanted to call my mom, so I did. And then I was trying to help her, and then I saw her on the ground, so I had to call the 911. There's a real honorary firefighter badge, and we thank you very much. Firefighters praise Elijah for being patient and calm, while Moriarty gave him step-by-step -step instructions over the phone. Well, I have kids of my own, so I just channeled my mom zone and talk to him like I talked to one of my own kids and like I said he was raised amazingly and you could tell that in the call. Elijah's grandmother Denise says she's alive because of her grandson's actions. She also thanked the first responders who came to her rescue. He truly is my hero. I mean I don't know what to say but thank you you know and thank you everyone. Not only was Elijah named Honorary Firefighter of the Day, he got a tour of the fire truck, and he's also going to Monster Jam for free in May. In Seminole County, as he cash stroke in results, new six. Awesome. Great mm -hmm. job, Elijah. Stepping yes. up. Mm, using those instincts.